Hey, oh, good evening. Morning. <coughs> what is it? 2.35 a.m. Had a uh, good session with the uh, client today. A little overweight. If you folks remember uh, some about a year ago, I bought a metric scale. Well, here in the last um, couple of weeks, my metric scale was thirteen dollars broke, and uh, I've been uh, checking my weight with the old spring-loaded standard pounds and ounces scale with a conversion chart that I got off the off the web and yeah, converting pounds and ounces to uh, kilos and it doesn't work as well uh, my trusty old spring loaded scales I don't know, a couple three pounds off so I adjusted it uh, turn that off I uh, I had to uh, set uh, it's got a little set adjustment screw on it I had to uh, put it on about three pounds for my starting point instead of zero and it works uh, temperature affects it if it's a little colder a little warmer evidently you know the mechanical stuff inside uh, uh, expands or contracts so I get to, I get different readings anyway I got down to uh, the clinic today with my weight off my uh, trusty mechanical scale and it uh, that's about uh, five pounds off, no, not that much, about two pounds, two and a half, three pounds off and uh, usually I go in right on my dry weight and uh, I was a little over but I have a new uh, metric scale coming, I've ordered actually two of them, one for me and one for Tiana Tiana's been, uh, had started to use mine, and, uh, it's, a this thing can hand them out to a toy, they're very cheaply made, but I think the, uh, additional stress of another body on it a couple of times a day, it just quit, so I got her one, and it hadn't, it isn't here yet, so I'm, uh, I'm waiting on that, uh, cold tonight, got my heater going here, right there, electric heater here in the radio room and my feet are a little cold I uh, got, my, got, my, got my snuggies on Tiana bought these for me years ago I think they came from uh, J, uh, J O Bean or W.W. W. Bean or whoever it is up there in uh, Maine but they've been durable I've been wearing them for four or five years. Most of them, you know, you go to Wally World and get out of here, thing like this, you know. Eight months to a year, you know, the stitching's coming out and they're falling apart. These suckers are not. Oh, they're, they're looking a little frayed, but uh, they're warm and they're durable, so LL Bean, that's who it is. Anyway, uh, what got me up again, way here in the wee hours, of course, uh, I had supper with uh, Tiana tonight, went to bed about 6-ish, and uh, woke up 1.30. And, uh, I've got something on my mind, really. <clears throat> Almost scares me for my country. Uh, I don't know how many of you folks have uh, observed in the last few days since the election's over, there are, uh, groups of people in various states that are petitioning the uh, federal government to secede from the Union. What if I ain't about the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life? Uh, secede from the Union because you, you know, because you, you don't like the man that uh, was elected president. Of course, I guess that's what happened back in the uh, was it 1860 or uh, 61 when uh, Lincoln was in? Uh, Lincoln got elected and the uh, you know, Southern rebels uh, started, uh, you know, seceding. Uh, now, it's a very small, uh, I don't know, 
TV going here, and it's bothering me. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> Southern Rebs, uh, they, they were very unhappy because uh, they didn't get their way, so the uh, end result was we killed six, eight hundred thousand Americans. And uh, of course, uh, country stayed a country. But uh, it, it looks like the embryonic beginnings of some crap like that is coming on again. Uh, I saw a list of the states where petitions have been filed with the federal government to secede. One of them is New Jersey. New Jersey. That's going to make it tough. You have a civil war in the Jerseys, you know, on the, on the rib side. <clears throat> I don't know if this thing's going to come to a civil war. But this lunatic fringe uh, governor we've got down here just got off the web. I had heard about this. Uh, governor Perry has uh, said that the state of Texas is not going to uh, participate in Obama, Obamacare. He's not going to be uh, part and parcel in bankrupting the state. Yada, yada, yada. And uh, talk like this is the type of thing that will uh, move forward and uh, expedite uh, nitwits uh, wanting to uh, secede in the Union. Now, half the country's toting, uh, what do they call those things? Rifles, you know, fully automatic rifles, uh, M16s, AK-47s, uh, assault weapons. So I'm waiting. <laughs> if somebody come busting through the door to shoot my. But, or they start hearing the shots in the street. Of course, I'm in the South. Mm. So uh, there is a large plurality of the people that are out here that think, uh, think alike. Uh, <clears throat> but there's no doubt in my mind that. Uh, push comes to shove, uh, some of these uh, Looney Tunes out here will start shooting. And uh, who will they shoot? <laughs> <coughs> Me and the loyal opposition. It's getting crazy. It's getting nuts. Uh, I hope it just fades away. I hope the media ridicules it as being a lunatic fringe and takes some of the edge off of this. The in my life, I've never heard such ignorance. So, got the uh, makings of a civil war. I got a governor, a governor that uh, is going to uh, disobey the law of the land. Uh, you know, these folks are majority or a minority. If you sit back and look at it, the Republicans are ruling, and I'm assuming most of the people that. Uh, are pushing these uh, idiot things. Our Republicans are Tea Party, but they took an ass whipping in this last election. Uh, Obama beat Romney by uh -huh, 330 to 203. Yeah, it's like. That's 125, 130 electoral votes. I think he beat him by a million or more popular votes. I mean, it was just a pure ass whooping. They lost, the Republicans lost seats in both houses of Congress. <clears throat> now, the Democrats are, uh, have, are and have been in control of the House for, you know, quite a while, but the Republicans even lost seats in the Senate. I forget what the divide is, but it's uh, it's bigger than it was before. And yet these people, uh, I mean, they're just, they're unhappy. They're like a kid out in the street, you know, I will take my ball and I will go home. I don't know. But, uh, I'm afraid for my country. You know, 
who would have thought that the old Soviet Union, I grew up during the Cold War. Actually, I grew up World War II, Cold War, you know. But I grew up during the heart of the Cold War, and the Soviet Union was, was a strong, vibrant monolith. I mean, they, I mean, they, were, they were as big and as bad as us, and they fell apart. And I can remember uh, when it was happening, there was a, I can't think of his name, there was a uh, news commentator that was from the Soviet Union and he did a lot of uh, speaking here in the United States. And I remember as his country was coming apart, he said, if you think it can't happen to you, he said, you just wait. Hmm. Wouldn't it be tragic? If he was correct, what he said was correct. I mean, the United States, uh, for all its faults, is still uh, the uh, most uh, liberal in the sense that I mean that uh, you you can do just about as you please. I mean, you decide you don't want a business, you want to take a trip, you don't have to have a, a bunch of papers like uh, you do in a lot of countries. I mean, we have. Total freedom of freedom of movement. Uh, we uh, we have freedom of speech, religion. I mean, it's just it's a great place to be. <laughs> freedom of speech, except for sedition. Like I told some of the guys the other night, you know, you cannot uh, stand on your uh, rooftop and say we need to kill a black. <laughs> Can't do that. That's sedition, and uh, the boys and girls come get you. But uh, these people that are uh, doing this, uh, that are out there spouting off, uh, we need to, uh, you know, yeah. do bad things to our president. Uh, they're the ones that are uh, pushing this uh, secessionist thing. They're a small group, a couple thousand in the state, except here in my love in the state of Texas, we got 25,000 uh, signatures on that thing. Oh. Scary. Anyway, it's, uh, I've had a good day. I hope it stays that way. I'm, uh, I'm scared for my country. They shouldn't, they shouldn't be talking this trash. These are the things that, uh, rend countries asunder and, uh, get a lot of people killed. Anyway, <sighs> Have a good day. Everybody try to try to hold their uh, hold their feelings. Hey, you want to uh, you want to change things? Wait four years and <laughs> vote in. You know, Malcolm X is dead. Of course, that would be bad. Uh, you know, vote in uh, George Wallace's son. I don't even know if you had one. But it seems to be that kind of temperament right now. Anyway, have a good one.